Hey, Theater Mania, this is Danny Burstein, and we're talking about Fiddler on the Roof. If I were a rich man, the all day long I'd biddy biddy bum, if I were a wealthy man. It's an unbelievable honor to have been asked to play the role. And uh, I'm trying to fill great, enormous, huge shoes uh, of people that have played the role before. The hallmark of Danny is his honesty and his reality. Tevye will be a very real person on that stage, not just, not just uh, out there to get laughs or to, you know, but Danny is, is very real. It's really based on the stories of Shalom Aleichem, written in 1905 or so, over a long period of time about a milkman living on the outskirts of a small town in Eastern Europe who has five daughters. And it's really the story of what is he going to do about his daughters. And he's also realizing what to do with his family when he's driven out of his own home. Everyone has experienced it to some degree, what it, what it means to, to leave your family, what it means to question your traditions and your faith, and so I think it's always had a, a resonance with people. It really feels like we are rehearsing a deeply felt, deeply researched, deeply honest and authentic play with some great music in it. So I think there's going to be some real beauty to it, especially in, I hope, the honesty and authenticity of these characters and in the relationships. God has made a man today. Wonder of wonders, miracle of miracles. God took a tailor by the hand. I think that Fiddler is, like all great works of art, deeply human and deeply universal. I mean, it's classic in the same way that Shakespeare and the great Greek plays are. I think it's the reason we keep revisiting it. There's these incredible universal themes of modernity and younger generations challenging the norm. Change and love and family will always be relevant, and I think that that's why we keep returning to these stories. Doing Fiddler on the Roof in 2015, we're going to be able to reach people who haven't been exposed to it uh, in a kind of profound way yet, maybe. Like when the last revival was here 10 years ago, maybe some of the people that were too young then are old enough now to really be able to experience it for the first time and, and get what, uh, what it's trying to say. It is so remarkable that, that now my kids, who, as I said, haven't seen it and don't really know that much about it, are going to be introduced to this world, not reminded of that world that their great-grandparents came from, but really introduced to it. It kind of uh, astounds me. This is truly the story of my family, down to the year. I mean, my family left Eastern Europe the same year the show is set, which is like mind-blowing. So the opportunity to get to tell my family's story on a Broadway stage really is something that will never be matched. I can't imagine ever doing something so meaningful. I think that audiences can expect um, from this production of Fiddler on the Roof that there is going to be a lot of heart and authenticity to the period. I think that he really wants to get away from, you know, like typical musical theater land and really take somewhere that is possible to actually happen and, and raise the stakes and raise the drama a little bit. Uh, there's something in the show for almost everyone except maybe died in the world Nazis, there's something everybody can identify with. And even I think a died in the world Nazi would find something to like.